Okay, I'm back. Today I want to talk just a little bit of a theory, technical a little bit, I guess you can say, on the U660E Toyota transmission, typically Avalon's, uh, Camrys, some of the other Sienna's, they, they have the same transmission on the V6s. Well, a lot of older people have a hard time understanding how these new transmissions shift. They shift off of electronics, what they see. Now, there's three sides to these new transmissions. You've got the mechanical side, the hydraulic side, and the electrical side. Well, naturally, they all have to work together for the transmission to work properly, no matter what type of transmission it is. In this case, it's a Toyota. Well, my customer just does not believe that the engine has a, has a role, plays a role, in how the transmission shifts. Well, if you go online and look up a Gears magazine, which is a transmissions digest, and there's an article about the aging Toyota 6, or U660E transmission. And they describe why they do what they do, even right down to little air bleeds inside the throttle body. If it messes up the mass airflow signal, it creates a shift issue, line pressure issue, engagement issue. It, it creates all kinds of stuff. And then you also have altitude, the way you drive the car, the, the way you start it up everything. My customer was complaining about a harsh engagement when you go from park to reverse. Well, he was right. It had some, it had some harsh engagement, but while sitting there talking to my customer and trying to explain this, he goes, he starts doing that same thing from park to reverse. And wouldn't you know it, it changed sitting right in the driveway, right here in the parking lot. And then it went to soften it up, going in the gear real soft. And he kept going, huh? And I'm like, right there is what I'm trying to tell you. The computer is changing things because it's seeing things differently. You know, I, anytime you have a transmission rebuilt, always remember that just because you're having the transmission rebuilt doesn't mean you're fixing the 220 some thousand mile engine components too. They're all worn out and everything's got to work as one. This particular car had misfire codes. And he didn't expect that to change anything. I said, yeah, it'll change. You got to get that fixed too. So you know you're in the right direction trying to, you know, diagnose this problem. But, you know, this thing was killed. It had, I had to put planetary gears in it. I had to put clutches, redo the valve body. I put in four or three switches, linear switches. And the linear switch, linear solenoid, excuse me. It, it's, it's a solenoid that moves uh, depending on what it needs to do. It's not a simple on off open close the circuit. It's not that way. That's not how they work. Um, they're, they're linear. I mean, that's just the, the word, the name says it all, but anyway, just was on my mind. I want to try to clarify that. And then you can look online, just go to gears magazine and look up the aging Toyota U U uh, 660 E and it will describe everything I'm talking about. It's a pretty good article. That's a good, good place to start. But just remember, I'm just an honest man trying to run an honest business. All right, this is said car right here. Toyota Camry 07. All right, let's uh, get in here and let's, let's put the key in. Start it up. Put in gear. Takes gear. A little harsh engagement, but that's normal for them to be learning. Let's go up the road here. at the steering wheel but all the gears work it has a little bit of a flare because the, it, the transmissions controller which is the ECM in this system in this system here it's trying to learn
All right, but all the gears work. I'm driving it. Turn in. All right, and then the complaint is it don't have reverse. Let me see. We're, we're in drive and pulling in, and all right, I'm backing up. See, I'm backing up. See, I'm backing up. Reverse works. And the harsh engagement, you can't really tell in on a video. See the RPMs? It's 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 jerky a little bit. Okay, back to this Camry. As you can see, I'm sitting in it, gonna turn the key on, and I'm gonna scan the codes. Let's go down here to Camry, Toyota Camry 07, there it is. Let's go to transmission codes, continue. I just drove this car. Let's check codes only. Current. Transmission range selector. And of course, I'm waiting on one. Let's go to history. Transmission range. Let's go to pending. No codes. All right, so let's go back to here. Let's go ahead and reset the memory. Continue. Now reset memory. Please wait. Okay, just reset the memory, and I'm still hooked up to the scanner. Let me go ahead and unplug it. See, I'm going to unplug it. Now let's do a small road test here real quick. All right. It says road test them after you do the memory relearn. Because it's electronics, and it's got to know something. Bing, bing, bing. All right. This car had all kinds of issues. Still got some issues, but nothing crazy. Shift points, shift second. All right. All right, let's take it out here. One good time, second. 
third. Fourth. And then fifth. Alright, now let's go back to the shop. See, just with relearning it, changes the shift points, changed the way it acts, just, just with electronics. And this is what I can't get my customer to understand. It's seeing something that's nothing to do with a rebuild on my end. It's electronical or electrical, excuse me. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. One more time, we'll turn around. This is after I relearned it. I'm gonna show the shift points that are different. That alone changed the shift points in this car just, just by relearning it. If it's something mechanical, it wouldn't do that. And we'll get out here and get stopped. So you can see it through the steering wheel. All right, now I'm idle, I'm stopped. See this is a mile per hour, now let's go. Second, third, Fourth. See the tachometer drop down when I say that? I'm, I'm still in fourth. Fifth. I don't know if I'll be able to get up to 55 at this short distance, but. Six. See it drop? All right. And then the other complaint there was smooth shifts. They didn't flare up. The tachometer didn't do nothing crazy. Now let's. Go over here. Let's back up because he said the reverse didn't work. Now let's go ahead, pull in. See, I'm moving forward. I'm in reverse. No clunks. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. See me moving backwards? Ain't that amazing? All right. I'm in park. Now. And that's on a 222,000 mile engine. But, till the next time. Ah, wait. I'm gonna let you, let you see me get out of this car. So you know I'm in the brake car. I don't want no video, video editing situations going on. All right. Here we go. Red Camry. There it is. Okay, so if you notice after I came out and started the car cold, it had a couple flare-up situations when it was cold coming up to temperature. But then once I reset it, because on Toyotas you reset the memory and it kind of puts them back to a learning process. As you see, I reset the memory and the shift points changed all over again. Completely different. And as I drove it, it got better and better only because... That's what it's designed to do. The computers are overriding in this, and then, but then it goes back to seeing things, and and then it starts doing that flare up again. I, I don't really know where in the electronics it's doing it, because it does have two hundred twenty-two thousand miles on it on the electronics. So, but if you notice, in in between the videos, when I after I relearned it and did my final drive, the shift points were good and tight. Hey, the RPMs dropped, mile per hour went up, nothing flared up. And that was just a, with a simple reset of the relearn. Now you tell me, is it in the transmission or is it in the electronics? I wouldn't think you could reset something electrically and change the shift points. Just saying.